What is up, everybody? Real quick video, two hours before kickoff tonight, the Washington Huskies going into Colorado to play the Buffaloes. So, uh, obviously, we're coming off our bye week. We're coming off an important win just to get back on track. And basically, I don't know, you know, <clears throat> this Colorado team, they're not terrible, but you can't really call them good either. They do have two wins this year against ranked teams. Uh, they beat Nebraska. It was a close game, and they beat um, uh, Arizona State, and they were ranked at the time. Both 34-31 games. But uh, on the whole, this Colorado team, they're certainly not very good. Uh, they got their defense in particular has been giving up points in pretty much every game they played this year until last week against Stanford. But 31 against UCLA, 35 against USC, 41, 45 against uh, the Cougars and the Ducks, 35 against the Wildcats, and uh, the Sun Devils, 31. So <clears throat> you look at it, this, this, this defense that we're playing, it's not very good. And their offense has been one of the worst in the country, actually, I think, in terms of points scored. If, if you look at this team, you know, you would look at their offense and say, they got a very mediocre passing game. They got a very lackluster running game. And you put all that together and you can't really say anything special about them. They just, they're not a terrible team, but they don't seem to do anything, one thing particularly well. So I do expect the Huskies to go into Colorado tonight and win. Uh, probably semi-convincingly, probably in a way that leaves little doubt about who the better team is by the end, but that's just this game, guys. Like, it's, it's tough to care. It's tough to know what I even want. Well, okay. <clears throat> I know I want this team to win tomorrow, tonight. I want this team to go out there tonight at 7 o'clock, two hours from now. I want them to win. I want them to get to 7-4. and four. Then I want them to win next week against the Cougars, go to 8-4, and four, and get the best bowl game that they can, and have the best possible results the rest of the way for recruiting and just to make the program look a little better. But <clears throat> we're in a weird spot with these Huskies right now, where obviously this season has not gone the way we wanted to. In many ways, this season has been the worst case scenario. Um, you know, four losses. We've lost some close games to good teams. We had the opportunity to knock off Oregon and couldn't get it done. Had the opportunity to knock off Utah and couldn't get it done. And those two teams are the class of the conference. So <clears throat> if we had found a way to win those two games, we would be in the race for the Pac-12 title. And the fact that we played competitively in those games shows you that there is some talent on this team. There is some good stuff here. The fact that we couldn't get it done in those games, plus the other two games we lost, which were just bad losses, tells you this team just isn't that good. Even if we had won those two games, this team would not be the great team that we, that the, the standard, you know, the standard needs to be very high for the, this school right now. But um, not just about this year. Like, I want the best results possible for this year, but what do I even want next year, right? Because, look, the last six quarters for Jacob Eason have been trash. He was trash last week. He was trash in the second half against Utah. And the way he looked last week was so bad, <clears throat> I started to question him. And I've been in his corner all year long. And I, I've read some stuff. I've gotten some comments from Husky fans and people in the know. And they say, you know, this Jacob Eason guy, he's got all the talent, but he doesn't really like football that much. He doesn't study film. He's not somebody who's going to work really hard to make his game better. He's just a really talented dude who doesn't really like football that much. He, he, you know, like Greg Oden. Greg Oden didn't really like basketball that much. Um, it, it looks like it might be one of those things. So <clears throat> I don't like that. And it's got me thinking, like, all year long I've said, especially when the season turned bad, I said to myself, well, hopefully we get Easton back next year and we have better receivers, we have a better defense and this and that. And then we can really make a run at things in this conference and maybe even nationally. But after hearing that, I'm like, do I even want that? And then I think, wait, Easton's been great most of the season. Really, the last six quarters are the only times this year where he's been bad. So then I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, I want that. But then I don't know. It's, it, it's tough, man. It's tough because I know that this offensive line has been good but not great this year. I know that these receivers are very, very lackluster. I know the defense has been 
certainly not great. <clears throat> I don't know if they're terrible, but they haven't been great this year. And I'm just like, of course we're not going to be a very good team, no matter how good the quarterback is, because of all the other problems we have on this roster. But then I'm just looking at it, and I think, do I really want a quarterback back for one more year when there's extensive evidence that says he's not the biggest fan in the world of football? Do I want a dude who doesn't seem to study film, a dude who doesn't seem to have much passion for this game? I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> so, do, it, it's a weird, weird situation right now because I know if Jacob Eason leaves, we're going to get a guy in here who is nowhere near as talented as Eason. I know that. And he probably won't have as good a season as Eason did this year. And, I, you know, Eason, his end of year stats might not be great because mostly because of the receivers also because he's having a tough end of the year where he's he just hasn't been playing well in November but uh, it, it's a weird spot I don't know what I want I don't know what's going to be best for this team I know we're getting some recruits in there I know like Nasua is going to be a year older next year and he's going to have probably a full load as a starting wide receiver next year which is awesome but I don't know guys I'm pretty I'm in a weird, weird place with this team right now. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what to get excited about. Uh, <clears throat> but look, tonight I will root my ass off for these Huskies to beat the Colorado Buffaloes. I know that. There's no interest in tanking on my part. I have no need to watch this team lose games. I want to get to 8-4, and four, and then I want to get to 9-4 in our bowl, our bowl game, and then I want to end the season like that. But as for this program, I don't know. I don't know. All right, a Seahawks video coming a little later, but I wanted to get a Husky thing out there because I have been talking about the team a lot lately. It's a little depressing to me, but uh, yeah, that's where I am. It, it's a weird spot. We haven't been in this spot in a while, but... Uh, what, I don't know, uh, Husky fans out there, what do you guys want? What Do you want Eason back next year? Do you think Eason's the guy? Uh, do, do, uh, just what do you think? Because I'm, I'm conflicted. I'm super conflicted. All right, peace.